Hi everyone, this is Terry. Today I'm going to show you how you can create some really cute looking designs using shapes. Now these are not the shapes that are built in to the software for this exercise. I'm using Brother Canvas Workspace. Let me open up a file that I've created earlier and I think what I'm going to do is save this as well. So I'll choose this save as flower and I'll call it sunflower. Two. And what we'll do is we'll open up the existing file that I created. And these are shapes that I'm, what I'm considering doing is taking this and stitching it out on some fabric like denim. So let's zoom in so you can see it. And all of these are different shapes that I use that were built into Brother Campus Workspace. And that sunflower I showed you a moment ago was as well. So let me show you how I created the flower that's over here on the left. We'll choose File New. And we'll go to Brother Canvas Workspace. And here it is. I'll remove what's on my design wall. If you go down the left hand side, one of the things that you'll see is you hover over it is shapes. And the shape that I used was this flower shape here. I'll move it over on the screen. And then I added a circle to the inside. I'll make that smaller, move that to the center. And we'll close out that and we'll close that fly out window. Now, what I'm looking at is the size of this. On the Edit tab, which over here on the right hand is showing that this right now is about 4 inches. I really want it to be smaller than that. Let's make it about 3. And let's make this center smaller as well. We'll highlight everything. There's an alignment to center right here. And we now have a flower. Now if it doesn't look like it's all lined up, Try aligning to center and, and see if that works again. Or you can do it visually. It, I am going to move that up because I really don't think that is aligned in the center. That's better. All right. Now I'm ready. And what I'm going to do is choose File, Export FCM. So we'll call this Flower 6 because I've created several. And now we'll go back to PE Design 11, and I'll go to Scan and Cut, Import, and I'm looking for that flower file. So I'll choose Import. When you import it, we'll go back to Home, and we'll do Selected Object Zoom. This is a vector file, so any vector file always is going to have a single running stitch. You can also import vector images that are SVG right here from the Home tab. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we're going to select the center of the flower. And what I'm going to do is choose Select so you can see the box around it. This is actually a shape now, so you have lots of possibilities. The first thing we're going to do is change the color of the outside and change that to a stem stitch and then in the interior we're going to change that to a flexible spiral fill and we'll change that color and we'll make that color a red color and over here on spacing on the sewing attributes we can make that a tighter fill you can see down here in the bottom that this is tightening up that circle. So you can make it as tight as you want it. Now what we'll do is we'll select the outside of the design by choosing select. I'm going to take this and uh, choose a zigzag stitch on the outside. I'll change the color of it to a color that I like and we'll just choose a red and then we'll go into the inside of this and we'll make this the flexible spiral stitch. And now you can see you have this flexible spiral stitch on the inside with this nice little design on the inside. What you want to do is select all of your objects 
and once you have selected them you want to, to go to modify overlap and set hole sewing now you're ready to save your design and stitch it out if you decide that you want to change the stitch order of this, you can see it's working from the outside to the inside. You can always reorder it. And what I'm going to do is I'll take the center of my design by selecting it. And I'll just move it up to the top. Now let's watch that play out. And here's our overall design. I like this. It's a lot of fun. And you don't necessarily have to have that zigzag stitch on the outside. If you want, you can set that up as a no-sew line. I hope this has inspired you to go out and create some things using your Brother Canvas workspace and importing those vector files into your PE Design 11 software. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day.